Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Krakenfall and today we are reacting to another Let's Game It Out video. So last week we watched Planet Zoo <laughs> and it completely surprised me because there was so much animal death. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. I was shocked and aghast almost the whole time. Oh, and I kind of mentioned at the end, but you know, not everyone sticks around for that. I. I'm kind of a nature enthusiast. How do I say this? That's kind of weird. I love nature. I live in the West in Western Washington. There's so much cool stuff around here. I grew up watching nature documentaries. I grew up reading National Geographic. In fact, <laughs> when my brothers and sisters moved out of my parents' house, we had this giant box of National Geographic that my grandmother had saved over the years and then gifted to our family. And then we added to the collection. So we have, I don't know, 40 years of National Geographic and they were just going to get donated. And I was like, no, no, no. I gotta save them. <laughs> like, it's so cool just going back to like 1985 before I was born and seeing, documenting, you know, the chimpanzee naturalist work. What, what are those called? Chimpanzee scientists? I don't know. <laughs> Conservationist. Yeah, that's right. I see animals and I'm empathizing with them. I'm like, oh, look, they're so cute. Ingram's had an episode just recently where they're playing pets. And I was, I've always thought poorly of the pet series. I used to work at GameStop and I'd see people buy it and I'd be like, I hope they enjoy themselves. But then I saw the Game Grumps play it and I was like, this is so cute. I, I get it now, guys. So yeah, I was shocked and aghast by, by Let's Game It Out. So today we're doing a, a few things. One is bingo. I did go and update bingo. So if you want to play along, you can go to the link right here or in the description, it'll take you to Bingo Baker. Generate your card, and then you will have a card that's completely unique, and it's all your own. It'll be different than mine. This is what I've got today. Josh can't even, FPS slideshow. You don't need to tell me twice. Explosive, ragdoll physics, is there a limit? All things that Josh either does or says in his videos. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you got a bingo, or three. I still haven't got a single one. I have no idea how that's possible. <laughs> The second thing that we're doing is going to be rating Josh on a scale of one to evilest dude. Primarily, we're going to be focusing on elephants. <laughs> So ele elephants are one of my wife and my favorite animals because they are super endangered. They're cute. They're really friendly. They are very easy to sort of befriend because they're very smart and people take advantage of that like a ton. They are super, super endangered right now because of poachers. Poachers go after their tusks for the ivory because elephants are huge and will <laughs> protect themselves if uh, you threaten them. Elephants are most often left unalive for their tusks, and that's it's really bad. The world has come a long way in outlawing universally ivory, but there are a bunch of countries and a bunch of black market trades that still create a market for t ivory. So it's uh, they're having a really hard time. It's also one of those things where elephants are endangered because of their habitat being destroyed by farming over in Africa and the Asias. You know, farmers will get super mad when elephants just you know do their normal natural thing and walk on their land and trample their crops. And so they'll try and chase them off. And there are ways to sort of coexist with elephants, but depending on the mindset of the farmer, they will use more lethal methods to keep elephants off their farm. So elephants are pretty in a bad spot. So I, I don't like seeing this image right here, but that's probably too serious for this. This is just a video game. I know that LJO isn't hurting elephants, but it is one of those things where like I, I personally, when I play GTA, I don't actually like it because I I can't just like remove myself from the situation. If I do something in the game, I kind of take per, like internal responsibility. If I hit somebody or shoot somebody, an innocent person, then then it's hard for me to like remove myself from that. That being said, like I've absolutely done a murder spree in Skyrim and I'm not saying like having any moral high ground or anything like that, but I'm just saying that when I see an elephant in 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 this situation, it doesn't feel great. So let's let's uh let's rate Josh on a scale of one to what the frick. <laughs> and before we get started, please go over to Let's Game It Out's video. I'm gonna put a link right here and in the description. Please go watch the video first over there. I know it's two years old or so, but please give Let's Game It Out the views that he deserves. I'm definitely not gonna be putting the whole video in this. I cut the video, you know, you're definitely not gonna be seeing the whole video here. It's absolutely worth going and watching Let's Game It Out's video first. So thank you for doing that. And uh, with that, let's get moving. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. It's time to dive into some Planet Zoo. Here's a quick recap. First, we set out to create a normal zoo. But then I got distracted using trees to craft a warning message to my zoo I, goers. I still want to know if you can build buildings on top of trees because it looks like anchor points for the trees are like malleable. If that's true, what about buildings? Because you put the buildings on top of each other just like Spirit Fair last episode. But can you put things on trees? 
I want to know. It turned out great. So then we focused on creating a suitable environment for some giraffes. Suitable. Like a lot of giraffes. So buckle up. Let's go make a park with whatever bad ideas pour out of my brain. I'm going to say. So two things. One, for bingo, I don't count the recap just because, you know, that's like last video. You know, we could go do bingo for the last video. So I'm not going to count the recap because there's already four different cards in that recap alone. Two, I'm going to call out every time that there's elephant transgressions just so that we can tally everything up at the end, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing I did the last time. How the hell do people get here? What do they do? Get here by this like This is way bigger than last time. I'm just oh, kidding. it must be a I different map. get here with good old fashioned magic. I mean, look at this. Look at all the rocks and structures and stuff. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, this is the thing I built last episode. I forgot I made it into an object I could just place. Oh, well, that's right, cool. Let's just put it way up. You can make blueprints in this game? <laughs> Wait, you can make blueprints in Planet Zoo? Hey, that changes everything. That reduces the amount of work you have to do so much. I want to know more about this game. I don't know if I'm ready to play it yet because I have a huge backlog, but if I can make a giant zoo compartment or China, wall of China or, you know, all those kinds of things, like any of those, I could make a giant man and actually have zoo goers go there. I could make an alien planet world and have like giant platforms like a, a cloud city or Coruscant from Star Wars. The possibilities are endless off in the distance. Okay, so here's my plan. Because there's so much stuff to mess with, let's make a beautifully customized zoo. And we're gonna design it so everyone knows how cool it is the moment they get into the park. African off-road vehicle? Wait, can they- <laughs> I can just put the car on this thing? Oh yeah, let's make people feel like they're living dangerously first thing. Most confusing restroom <laughs> of all time. And over on the other side, we're gonna put a food it's stall. Like a TGI it Fridays. looks like a condemned building now, but just you wait. First, let's give it a roof. Because if it's circular, that makes me think of pizza. Let's add a few, actually. Yeah, there we go. It's not even symmetrical. <gasps> what the hell are these things? Special effect. Water jet splash. Water rapids. <laughs> Dirt blowing. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Come get some pizza. Okay, Josh, focus. <laughs> Walls. Oh, yeah, these are nice. Just slap this these is on evil. each side. Okay, looking. This is almost crimes against humanity already. <laughs> Because if you're going to get pizza and you get dirt sprayed on it, I would I would be so mad. <laughs> I would be so mad. It's good pizza. Why would you do that? Great. There we go. A nice, beautiful, confusing building with a smoke screen. You know what, though? This is a little too obvious. Lion head. What could this look like? Get <laughs> you know, I really like that. It's like the lion's going for the pizza. <laughs> and you can't even see the employee on the other side. Wait, no, still not perfect done job. yet. Perfect job. Googly eyes. <laughs> they say the perfect job doesn't exist. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the perfect pizza place. Did you know this game has funny lettering? Because it does, which we're going to use to great effect. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now there's no mistaking it. <laughs> it's your one-stop shop for all your burgers. That looks entirely too much like an actual burger place, Josh. What are you doing? <laughs> burger needs. And just in case anyone questions our freshness guarantee, we've put out our first exhibit. Beautiful, lovely, edible giraffe. You know why you're here, right? Yeah, he knows why he's here. Okay, well, this is going swell so far. Let's make sure to put a bunch of plants, too. We can't forget to put beautiful plants everywhere. That, I, I got whooshed for a sec. Where? Who's a beautiful exotic restroom? It's like the Indiana Jones ride, but a bathroom. Some nice aloe vera all around, and whatever all this crap. Animal cruelty, I think that's plausible deniability in valid selection. I think that's plausible deniability, so I am personally not going to pick animal cruelty. Go ahead and pick it for yourself. I have no rules on this. You know, if you want to say that there's something in the video and it's kind of like iffy, go for it. Like, if you think Desecrates Nature counts because he made asphalt parking lots or whatever, whatever. I'm fine with that. I'm calling the car on the building vehicular chaos. That's perfect. That's a perfect example. Go for it. App is. Oh, and we're going to need an information center. Okay, let's put this right at eye level. <laughs> God, I love that the game lets you do this. There's no reason I should be doing any of this. But then how else would I be able to display this sign? And in case that's not clear enough, we'll just put these info things <laughs> in kind of gross pat. See, that is the Pacific Science Center right there. There's all kinds of exhibits with like weird like metal poles and stuff and signs and water guns and stuff like that where you can shoot the signs and learn about stuff while you're having fun. Yeah, why not? It's very educational, Josh. Great job. Turns all over this thing. And we'll just sneak in one of these little toilet signs and see if anyone notices. Okay, cool. We're all ready to learn. What's even in an information booth? Oh, umbrellas, huh? Let's keep going with that theme. Fountain Jet Large. That's what I'm looking for. There. Let's see how that does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that seems so uncomfortable. <laughs> Even this giraffe is like, oh, the hell with that. And to go with our learning, let's put some more.
Um, that got me. I, I can't say why. Um, give me a sec. <laughs> Stuff right over here. Oh, you guys are gonna love your enclosure so much. In this pen, we're gonna put beautiful, cute pandas. Because who doesn't love a panda? Seems like it would be the perfect crowd pleaser. Here, look, I'll even give him like bamboo and crap. That's what pandas eat. Okay, he's actually making a zoo this time. And for some reason, that scares me. The normalcy of that scares me. Cat break. Pops! We have Hobbs visiting here. Hobbs is visiting. He, he went to the vet this week and we gave him uh, some kitty, I would say sedatives. They're like, they calm him down so that he doesn't have to be scared by the vet. And uh, he's just been vibing ever since. Hi. What? What? What's she doing? We'll go get it. Go get it, Hobbs. Right? I probably should have asked the information desk. Well, dare I say this is starting to look like a real <laughs> zoo. I mean, by my standards. Seems plenty lively in here. Mm hmm yeah. Order one for you and one for the kid that's currently st stuck in the concrete and really <laughs> tastes the giraffe. Yes, I hope everyone's having a grand time. Oh yeah, there's the I hate my life smile. Also a huge fan <laughs> of these people that are willing to wait in line for it's pizza. having a great time being there. getting blasted by dirt. Okay, well this has been great. More than well, anything I like else the zoo so far. these people probably to stick around for phase two, which is gonna take place right over yonder, which involves using as much of this space as we can. Oh, but we can't let the people see what we're doing. That's why we're gonna build a wall all the way across. And you know, let's make it a little taller. And by a little, I mean a lot. 25 meters, good, good. 100 meters, better. God, how high can we make this? Oh, Papers, I like please. how at a point it's like, forget it, I'm not even gonna tell you how tall it is anymore. Okay, so why are we doing this giant wall? Uh, to hide our secrets that we don't want people to see. Oh, well that kind of negates what I was just saying, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I'm sure there's something in here we can use to cover it up. I don't know if there's anything that's gonna work like elegantly. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, we got this. Crap, there's a gap right there. And also I guess there's these pesky windows. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now this is reminding me of Hunger Games. This is reminding me of Hunger Games with the different sections and everything's closed off and it's dystopian. <laughs> I guess this would be a dystopia, huh? I gotta deal with these windows. See, we'll just put this right here. <laughs> this guy like that. <laughs> see, nothing to see here. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, that there we go. Looks this like is serious business. A hippo okay, chin. I think we can all agree that this is a very professional operation now. Over here on the other side of the wall, we got some big plans. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we can fool these people into thinking they're going for an adventure. Okay, one moment while I finish up this water situation. Ta-da! Just a little more water. I wonder if After there's all, any scripting the tools build, for we to be protected. Planet we can't have all these looky loos from generation. the rolling hills back there sneaking in. So let's make sure people get the proper riverboat experience, which means a whole bunch of unnecessary twists and turns. Hold, please. Hey, Gila. Drop you that is correct. That's hold, please. Do I have it? Yes, I do. We'll grab the free space as well. Do we have anything else? Uh, uh, is there a limit? How high can you go? Uh, I think we're approaching Josh style Giga Overkill pretty soon off right here yes come one come all hop in this tiny little disaster okay everybody have a great time i feel like there are ways we can really spice up this trip oh of course let's see besides dirt what else do we have mist you're the one sign me up oh yeah that's much better except for the low Whoa, frame that's rate, actually kind of cool in its own way oh. okay i've gone ahead and slapped these things just all FPS over the railings slideshow. down here the effect being pretty great okay so the first thing to build is like uh like a check-in area like a nice little path over this way let's maybe put 
some nice electric fences, just kind of encompassing <laughs> this area so everyone feels nice and That's safe. That's responsible. Okay, looking good. That's Let's safe. Let's extend these fences too. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. Speaking of security, I think there's one last thing we can do. We want to make sure someone's always watching in case something goes wrong with these boats. So it would be great if we could just build like a tower of sorts. Yeah, there we go. A tower. A tower for watching people. <laughs> now this is my this is kind of starting to look like a Let's prison. Let's put another one down. Who doesn't like symmetry? I mean, what the hell? We should probably put a wall around this whole place. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now that's what I call a nice maximum security zoo. I've seen war movies, Josh. This is this is not looking good. I I would almost say crimes against humanity. Depends on what he puts in. Put puts in here. We'll see. Well, now that we got that out of the way, can't lose sight of the fact that most people came here to see some animals. So hang tight while I make something beautiful. Okay, I think we did it. Welcome to Pawshank, Planet Zoo's only maximum <laughs> security prison. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? First, you make okay, your way through okay. the queuing line. He stopped, you know, one step before a uh, concentration camp. So no crimes against humanity yet. Depends on how... What? Mm? Are zoo park goers, in, they're innocents, right? So putting innocents in prison, that's a, that's a crime against humanity. Let's see, let's see. Last chance to use the bathroom before we go on this magical journey. <laughs> and our first stop is gonna be this guy right over on the right, which I lovingly call the yard. Is a big, beautiful space where our animals can run around in and get some exercise. It's essentially a king of the hill situation. And the prize at the top, this is everyone's favorite caretaker. <laughs> her name is Grace. Pretty sure when she signed up for this job, oh, no. this is not what she was picturing. We, we removed Grace from the bingo. That stinks. Oh, dang. I wish we didn't remove Grace from the, the bingo. Because I was told that Grace doesn't really appear very often. Maybe I'll put Grace back. I don't know. It'll be a tough square for videos that don't have Grace in it. But I think I'm going to add Grace back. Let's add Grace back. But hey, she seems cool with it. I'm so happy at work. Cool. Well, have fun trying to get out of that one. All right. On to you the know? next stop on our tour. Employee you know, reviews don't lie. a little famished. There is a lot of walking to do here. So why don't you take a load off at the food court? We serve only hot dogs. But you know how we are with hot dogs. We provide all the information you need as to what's inside our hot dogs. Only the finest <laughs> ingredients. Now that's what I call fresh. Okay, moving on. Oh, this looks mysterious. So far we're at Why zero elephant transgressions. Solitary. This is where we put our animals that need like a brief time out. See, they know they've been bad. That's why they're staring away like that. And now we have one final stop on our tour. This is our maximum security area. Here we keep the worst of the worst. The ones we don't know if they can be rehabilitated. Uh... So we just keep them locked away. Except for this guy. He's probably not supposed to be here. Leading up to the worst of the worst. This one will never get out because this one eats human beings. If it wasn't clear, by the way, this is the jail cell from Silence of the Lambs. And this magnificent beast is obviously Hannibal Lecter. Remember all the grooming that Hannibal did in his cell? I do. And now you've seen all there is to see about my beautiful prison. I mean, zoo. At this point, I feel like there's only one thing left to do because there's just way too many protests. I mean, if the giraffe eats humans, then it just makes sense to remove it from society. Also, there was an elephant earlier. Okay. In the timeout, in the moat. Okay. Solitary, was it? Elephants need a lot of space, but they also like water and they can swim. So... I don't know if that's actually an elephant transgression. If it doesn't have food or a social circle, then maybe his elephants are extremely social. That's 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 borderline. <sighs> Oh, I didn't see the elephant in the prison. Here. I'm gonna make him believe that over here there's some kind of animal experiment going on. Okay, in addition to this whole, this should probably get the job done. What protester can resist disenfranchised animals? Especially <laughs> when you can see the distress on all their faces. <laughs> Hang in there, big guy. I love Help the Google guys. Oh yeah, there we go. I knew you'd all come. Yes, everybody, just walk on down there. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, and we'll see you in hell. Ah, peace at last. And there you go, our lovely zoo. So I hope you had a good time. I I know Grace did. So I think the only thing left to do is head up to the roof, wait for a helicopter to get the hell out of here, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, and I tried to put this beauty on the Steam Workshop. I don't know if it worked. Okay, whoa. What? That was tame. What was with that? I... <sighs> did anybody get a bingo? I... Okay, what did I miss? Uh, glitches to the world. Yes, there was, uh, there was the kid in the concrete. Josh style giga overkill. Yes, he made a prison. I would absolutely say that's that's overkill. No ragdoll physics. I actually didn't see any dead animals. Like the there were a couple wolves that were sleeping in the the yard, but I don't think they were actually dead. Um, the devs did give him a key, and I know that from last up last video, so I'll count it here. Definitely crimes of it against humanity. I I didn't I missed that captive audience. 
Well, if he, yes, captive audience, he he definitely imprisoned things. Psychological warfare, I would say, <laughs> was present throughout. Vehicular chaos because of the, the Jeep on top of the, the food stand. Oh, and with the mist boats, yeah. Oh, X hours later. Thank you. Thank you. But that still doesn't help. <laughs> Flying object and goes out of bounds. He didn't do that. He did something close to how many can we with the wall? Yeah, I I picked that as, is there a limit? You know, you, you made a comment about how many can we being kind of on the fence. I'm doing how many can we? I'm doing how many can we because it's very close to how high can we? Technically, how many can we, how many walls can we put up? Yeah, but I don't. I, I definitely don't have exploits NPC AP, AI. I got a two for one. He lured the protesters using the AI to bury them. I guess that is technically. I feel like that's a stretch, Shivani. Should I should I do it? Here, I'll do a poll. Okay, so <laughs> I've consulted chat. And chat has voted exploiting the AI for the park goers to walk into the tunnel so that Josh can actually bury them by editing the world counts as exploiting NPC AI. So I'm going to count that. I have my first bingo, <laughs> which is completely unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheese, but I mean, that's the spirit of let's game it out, right? And Josh has completely surprised me. This was such a tame video. I mean, he made a prison. I'm told there's an elephant in the prison underground, which I mean, that's that's one count. So on a scale of one to evilest dude, I would rate Josh a two, I guess. Like if we're counting numerically, one point per uh, transgression. That actually makes me happy. I wasn't shocked. I guess I'm shocked that he didn't do anything worse. This is like actually a fun little romp in a creative Planet Zoo world where he made a prison. Okay, now that I think about it, the animals in the prison is kind of sad. Tame zoo video. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of like software, like I, I've been trying to look at, at these videos from like a software dev perspective. If you have any questions or you have any videos that you'd like me to watch, let me know down in the comments. I'm probably gonna have to check out Planet Zoo. It, it looks pretty fun. Well, that's about it for the video. I heard somewhere that YouTubers should not say like, subscribe, comment and ring the bell anymore because it just gets ignored and it's like it means nothing anymore so i'm supposed to say one thing so do one thing if there's one thing i could ask you to do it would be subscribe hang around let's have some fun together i'm going to be putting out more videos let's plays and i've been working on scripts for new videos i want to get them out i'm super excited for them so stick around i just want to thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful evening and uh that's it goodbye Thank you.